His face is recognized all over the world. Short hair, thin glasses, and most often this calm smile, almost serene despite the last seven years he has already spent in prison. In 2003, at the time of his first trial, Horakovsky was considered a greedy man who made his fortune on the ruins of the USSR. But today, this image has changed. From his glass cage, the former oligarch has seen dozens of witnesses, among them former ministers, come forward in his support. And never has the number of his supporters been so large in the Russian society. They've taken to the streets to demand his freedom. On Remembrance Day, commemorating the victims of Stalin's repression, it's Hodorkovsky's portrait that they brandish. Artists are also mobilizing. Sketches of the hearing, installations and portraits gathered in the small gallery in the Russian capital. Katya brought together dozens of works devoted to the former head of Yukos, like this power vertical, or this figurine of Putin pulling the strings of judges and prosecutors. Khodorkovsky has become the face of all political prisoners of this country. I wanted to help in any way I could. That's why I organized this exhibition. Much more unexpected was the support shown by some of the members of Russia's Orthodox Church, still closely tied with the government. I'm calling on Judge Daniel Kin not to betray his high position. I'm asking the believers to pray for him, as it's his responsibility to make a fair decision. For me, it's evident that no crime was committed. Marina denounces the political trial just like these protesters who came to the court building on the 15th of December. That day, the judge was supposed to start reading the verdict, but at the last minute, it was rescheduled till the 27th of December, right after Christmas. It's sadistic, that's what it is. They knew they could have warned us a day or two in advance, so all these people wouldn't have had to come here. There are journalists, foreign observers, and many people who have come from far away. And that is why they have rescheduled the hearing. They are crushing us yet again. For them, the goal of this maneuver is clear, to reduce the media impact of the verdict hearing. Because here, nobody has any doubts. Khodorkovsky will not be acquitted. On TV primetime, Vladimir Putin has called the ex-oligarch a thief. A thief whose place is in prison and whose guilt has been proven. According to the court, Khodorkovsky has been accused of theft. We're talking about tax evasion and fraud, amounting to billions of rubles. <coughs> For Khodorkovsky's lawyers, it's another case of interference in the trial, but nothing surprises them anymore. Khodorkovsky has become a symbol of an authoritarian shift by Russia's rulers, a symbol they'd rather see kept in the shadows a little longer.